I'm Pod Eddie from Pod Eddie's Blind Hog Barbecue. Today we're talking about smokers. So pellet smokers are becoming increasingly popular because they have the ease of use and they get outstanding results. But the goal of the pellet smokers is to actually emulate the flavor of an offset smoker and to do it without all that fire management issues that the offset has. I'm a big fan of pellet smokers. That being said, you should be aware that they almost always fall a little bit short of having that true offset smoker flavor. So, what's the pit master to do? We're in luck. We have modern technology on our side. If you want to greatly enhance the fire management capabilities of your offset smoker, then you may want to consider adding a controller and fan. Okay, I understand that not everyone is going to get on board with this concept. You know, I've heard of a guy that said he had a management system, but he simply preferred to manage the fire the old-fashioned way. And I also even know a guy that won't use text messaging. It's just not for him. So I realize that it's not for everyone. Different strokes for different folks. But if you want to make your smoker a little easier and more efficient, then pay attention. The controller is actually a computing device. It's designed to monitor the temperatures and then control the air that's supplied to your smoker by way of a fan. Now, there are several different brands of controllers and fans on the market. They're designed to closely monitor and maintain your smoker temperature, and they're available with many different features. Now, you, of course, have to maintain the fuel, and then you get to concentrate on your cooking. So I'll point out that one of the major drawbacks of this project is the price. But if you compare this to high-end pellet smoker, well, then you'll realize that high-end features have a high-end price. Thermal Works, Fireboard, and Barbecue Guru, they're major players in this area, but they're not the only manufacturers and some of the fans and controllers are compatible with other manufacturers and some of them aren't. Today, my project, I'm installing a Barbecue Guru Pitbull fan on my offset smoker. And since I already own a Fireboard 2 Pro digital thermometer, then I'll be using that for my controller. Now, I also use this controller on my Char Griller Acorn Kamado. It does a great job. Now, one of the reasons that I chose Fireboard is because it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and it keeps detailed records of all your cooks. But I'm certainly not pushing you to go with Fireboard. There are several systems systems to choose from and you'll have to decide which one fits your needs. Now I also chose to go with the Pitbull fan which is made by Barbecue Guru and it has a 25 CFM rating and a stainless steel housing and this unit plugs in with a 3.5 millimeter jack and it is compatible with the Fireboard 2 Pro. In fact the Fireboard is capable of powering two of these fans if you have the appropriate adapter. I also purchased the bulkhead adapter that's recommended for mounting the pit bull fan. This adapter is made from high quality stainless steel, as is the mounting hardware. Now, once again, the drawback here to the bulkhead adapter is the price. It costs nearly as much as that fan, but it is high quality and it creates an ease of use factor for your fan. This adapter is permanently mounted to your smoker while the fan and controller, they're installed only when they're in use. Of course, you could use the fan and controller on different grills and different smokers as long as you have the appropriate adapter installed. Now, I talked to the customer service at Barbecue Guru about the most appropriate place to mount the fan, and the bottom line, it's your choice. Now, my smoker's constructed of 16-inch pipe, and that's a little on the small side, and after all, it is straight from the 1980s. Now, I've lined the bottom of the firebox with insulating fire brakes. I don't use a bottom grate, and I don't use a basket. Now, I decided on mounting the fan on the downstream side of the firebox in that area where it joins to the cooking chamber. This may seem like it's counterintuitive, but that area of the firebox with the door and the pinwheel, that area is just a little bit too busy. And if you go under the cooking chamber, it gets that fan out of the way. It offers it some protection from the weather. And like I said, it's just plain old out of the way. Now, keep in mind that using this system, the fan supplies 100% of your airflow. The firebox needs to be 100% closed up. You may also need to choke your stack down a little bit more than normal. Your mileage will vary from pit to pit. You don't have to worry about the airflow draw when you're using a fan because it's a forced air system and you are in control of the airflow. Now, as I mentioned, my offset is straight from the 1980s and the stack is just undersized at 3.5 inches. But with a forced air system, the small stack diameter, it's not an issue. 
I'm positioning my fan a little bit off center just in case I ever want to go back and add a second fan. We need to drill a 1 and 3 8 inch hole in order to mount that fan adapter. To be sure that I'm drilling in the correct spot, I'm going to drill from the inside of the firebox and through the fire brick. Note that the fire bricks that I'm using, they're made from vermiculite. They're easy to saw, they're easy to drill. And after starting the hole in the fire brick, I remove the brick and I finish drilling through that brick. Now this is accomplished using a 35 millimeter hole saw drill bit. I reinstall that fire brick once I had the hole drilled and then I started to pilot hole through that quarter inch steel on the firebox. Now after that pilot hole was started, then I removed that fire brick once again and then I completed drilling the hole through the firebox. Now you need to install the adapter from the outside in by placing it through the hole and then secure it with the stainless steel mounting nut. Put your fire bricks back in place. Okay, if you're using a pit bull fan, well, remember it's got a slide that can be used to reduce the volume of the airflow. That's for smaller applications, but for most offsets, you probably won't have it completely open. The adapter comes with a plug. We need to remove the plug and then slide that fan onto the adapter. The 3.5 millimeter jack simply plugs into the fireboard. Now you need to install an ambient thermometer probe inside the smoker so you can monitor the pit temperature. And that part's not an option. You've got to have that ambient probe. The fireboard provides the power for the fan, but note that it'll be reduced power if you're running off the battery only. The best option is to plug your fireboard into 110 volt AC with the power adapter, and then it'll run that pit bull fan at full power if needed until the cows come home or until your barbecue's done, whichever comes first. Okay, to test this out, you gotta load up your firebox with wood or charcoal. Now I'm lighting it off with a weed burning torch and I've got the torch in a 20 pound propane tank mounted to my cart. I call this my war wagon. Now remember, start the fan running first before you go to light it off. And with fireboard systems, you control that fan through the software. Now once that fire catches, then you close up the firebox as airtight as possible. I see that I still have work to do to make my firebox airtight because we got some leaks. Get your coal bed established, and then you can start your cook. Now in the automatic mode, you'll run this a lot like you do a pellet smoker. You just set the temperature of your choice, and then the controller controls at that temperature by using the fan at various speeds to control your cook. And you do still have to maintain the wood and charcoal in the firebox. I've heard of some pit masters that cook as normal until it gets time to go to bed and then they add a bag of charcoal to the firebox and they set it for hours of unattended cooking by using the fan and controller. Or you can still use your cooker as normal in the traditional fashion by just not setting up your fan and controller. It's up to you. Now I hope this shed a little bit of light on the options and possibilities available to you to enhance your smoking capabilities. Now as always, this is about having more fun and making better barbecue. Now all you got to do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.